If you think about the 60s when man first went to the moon, there were kids around the world watching that first landing. To me, if we think about what the lunar rover could be for Australia, it could be exactly the same. Australia does have a long heritage in space. We've supported the space race with our partners overseas, the United States, for decades. And we partner well with the Japanese and Europeans and Indians and others. It ties us to the Artemis Accords. It ties us to um, the work that's happening internationally with the moon, which is such a big focus on in the space um, ecosystem right now. I, I think this mission's just I think it's exciting and I think it's going to be it's going to be really wonderful to see an Australian rover on the moon. Working for space means designing for one of the most uh, difficult environments that we know of at the moment and this coupled with the fact that we have to operate remotely means that our team has had to learn to design systems that are more hardy, uh, more reliable and safer than ever before. The environment on the moon is one of the biggest challenges of this mission, is the moon is hard. It's a really difficult um, environment to work in. The regolith, the lunar soil that we have to interface with, is extremely challenging. It sticks and clings to everything. It has electrostatic properties. It's the, the temperatures on the moon are very extreme. Obviously, it's a vacuum environment, but the temperatures on the moon are, are ex very extreme. It's an incredible opportunity. I kind of grew up thinking that if you wanted to work in space and you wanted to do engineering, that you had to go to NASA. Um, and NASA is incredible, but it's really cool to see that we have a backyard space program here in WA um, and in Australia. And there are actually opportunities that can get you into the space industry and the space sector, and you can actually find a pathway for yourself. I think everyone's got like a serious fascination with the universe and what's out there, life on other planets, where humanity goes over the next couple of years, centuries. Me personally, I'm really excited whenever I see photos from deep space, the Mars rovers, the Voyager probes, that pale blue dot, um, and I'm really excited to be a part of that. I think it's one of those things that's not just exciting from a scientific perspective or a space perspective, but it's exciting from a cultural perspective too, because there's, you know, every culture cares about the moon. Every culture has the moon embedded in its stories. And I think it's just obvious and interesting and, and connected. We finally have our first national space mission, and we are so stoked to deliver the first Australian-built lunar rover. I think this will be one of the many more missions to come. It's a historic mission uh, in its first place, and uh, we look forward to delivering the best rover Australia has to offer. Mm -hmm.